we observed, and that Newton observed a few hundred years ago, we observed the same thing. Maz, what did we observe yesterday? Inertia. What is what is this thing called inertia, Maz? What is that? Like it's something. If something is moving and nothing gets in its way, nothing makes it change direction. It's going to keep on going. And, and Sagan, maybe later on we can show you the videos that we that we made of what we did. But that was the basic idea. It was all about mmm, mmm. What was the force? Mmm, mmm. Ellie. Mo motion. It was all about motion yesterday. <coughs> Today. Ooh, almost lost the pencil there. <laughs> I'm too enthusiastic. <laughs> Talking about motion, huh? <laughs> Today we step into the proper role. The role some of us were born to do. The role of scientist. Yes. <laughs> Go for it, Killian. Woohoo! Now I don't know what 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 what, what experience have you guys ever done? Raise hands if anyone's ever done an experiment. Experiment. And what were some of the things that you did in that experiment as a scientist? Matthew, what did you do in your experiment? Oh, you were just stretching your hands. Okay. Who, who, who's got a few of the steps of what a true scientist does when you're doing an experiment? G.A. Call that an experiment. That's an experiment. That's okay. What what do we do sometimes? And we're going to do it. We didn't do it so formally yesterday. We're going to do it formally today. The first step before we do any experiment. One of the first steps. It starts with the pre. We make we, we do something with pre. Grace. We make a prediction. We predict. We look at something that we're going to do and we say, I predict this will happen. And then, when we do the action, what is the next, what is one of the next steps? Killian. We get the materials. We get the materials together. We get our experiment ready. When we actually do the thing, like when we were doing that thing yesterday, Gia, that you talked about, running and stopping on the white line, there's something that scientists do during that time, they're, they're very intensely focused and they're doing it. So Yoon, what are they doing? Um, the, um, thinking and they think they're action. taking action. Okay, they're taking action. It's a certain kind of action. Ob, ob, observing. 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 Yay! We predict. <laughs> One, two. We do it and we observe. That's the crucial part. That is the crucial part. One of the crucial parts of what the scientist does. They make a prediction to focus their minds. Is, is my prediction right? Is my prediction wrong? I'm going to observe. And I'm going to say, was my prediction right? Was my prediction wrong? Now, just a little side note. Scientists, when they make their prediction, they're not like sometimes first, second, third graders that say, oh, I really want to be right. I want to be right. Please, please, let me be right. <laughs> no. That's not what scientists are about. The true scientist says, I make this prediction, but then I observe truthfully. I observe actually what is happening. And I don't feel bad if my prediction was wrong. Because either my prediction is right or it was wrong. Then I move on with the scientific process. What I observe lets me do other experiments and deepen my knowledge. So we predict, we observe, then at the very end, we do an extra thinking step. And the scientist, at the end of the experiment, the end of the observation, I con, I con, con, tiff. I conclude, I make a conclusion. That is what we're doing today. Let's look at this guy's image. He's still up here. Remember, Newton was the guy yesterday. Today, we're going to be doing what another scientist of old did. This guy's name, this is a younger, younger picture of him. Galileo, everybody here? Galileo, Galileo. 
Galileo. Galileo? Galileo lived before Newton. Galileo, okay, you got it. Galileo lived before Newton. But his specialty was doing exactly the experiment we're doing today. Wait, what? Did you talk about Galileo? Galileo lived in the 1600s, late 1500s, early 1600s in Italy. Italia. Gal Galileo Galilei lived in Italy. And he did something very much like the experiment we are going to, going to do today. We are going to do exactly what Galileo did several hundred years ago. And we will make our observations and draw conclusions about forces that keep the solar system together the way it holds together. Remember Hay Wan's question from yesterday. Why? Do the planets move around the sun? We're going to deepen our understanding of that today by following in Galileo's footsteps. Funny that we're following in his footsteps. You will take your clipboard like a good scientist. We are following literally in his footsteps. Everybody has your equipment. You all have your equipment. One of your shoes. <laughs> Very easy. That's another sign of a good scientist. Don't get fancy. Keep it simple. All I need is a shoe and a pencil. I know. And a ice stuff. That's what we're going to do. Okay, shh. Can we take Okay. Shall we hand out the clipboards? And do, uh, do we need to pair them up with a partner? Because they need to be able to... Good, yeah. good, good. You want to say that? To begin with... To begin with... We are going to we are going to get into scientist pairs. One person, because because we have to focus, Killian, we have to focus. One person is going to take a turn doing the experiment. The other person has to be very very focused and observe. That's why we need need two people to do this. One person has to do the thing. The other person has to very carefully observe. Do you want to model it with Miss McMulkin without Do doing the actual thing, Do so okay. they know what's going on? Shall we have these out so they can see? What? Yeah, she holds the clipboard, and you can let them see what's going to go on. You have three activities on that clipboard. Do you want to show them that? <coughs> These aren't just three activities. These are three experiments. Yes. With the shoe and the pencil. Watch. <coughs> yes, yes, you're good. Before, you need to read this, because before you even get to the point where you take your shoe off, you have to do the first part. What's the first part that you have to do? Observe. What did Mr. Vermont say before observing? Prediction. Yeah. So, prediction, your hypothesis. Draw an arrow up or down to show the direction you think the pencil will fall if you have a Yes, well, uh, the first experiment is to let go of a pencil. Your prediction. Do something. Watch. You will predict by drawing an arrow. Very simple. No words required. Simply draw an arrow. This way. That way. That way. That way. Or that Which way, way or will it go? Draw an arrow. Your prediction. Right, so basically you're doing this. You're holding the pencil like this. And you're saying, before you even do it, which way is it going to go when I let it go out of my fingers? Is it going to go this way? Is it going to no. go this way? No. That way? No. Or this way? Yeah. So next yeah. to the yeah. pencil, so on the left, look up there, yeah. on the left side, there's a column that says prediction. You have to draw the arrow there first. And then you go right next to it on the right. Then you do the experiment, and then you observe what happens and then you draw your arrow again for what really happened okay and then you're going to say oh yeah I was right or oh I wasn't right okay that's activity experiment one then we move it, we're just gonna move yes one. experiment two you go to number two you just move down it's very clear read it draw an arrow to show the direction you think the shoe will fall you get your stinky shoe. Stinky shoe. Hopefully not too stinky. Oh my god. <laughs> I you smell it already. Okay. You're predicting. <laughs> so you predict. You have a good guess. 
Yeah, you're looking at it saying, which way is that thing going to go? Well, it's so smelly, it might go that way. I don't know. <laughs> or that way, or that way, or that way. Not the you're direction gonna... of the smell, the direction of the shoe. <laughs> and then you drop, you, you let your shoe go, and then look now. And the other side, you draw the arrow for what you really saw it do. Pencil and the shoe are dropped at the same time. This is a good 